Welcome to the brand new Draymond Green Show YouTube channel. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our content. And so, and, and now, but then speaking of navigating that, navigating the Crips, navigating the Bloods, just growing up in this, then why the choice to stay home and go to UCLA? For that reason, specifically, like, you know, I wanted to go to Duke. Um, I thought Duke was going to be like a place where I can get out of LA. I don't have to worry about none of this shit, and I can go hoop. And I wind up being, like, one of the greatest hoopers ever. You know what I mean? Or the responsibility was like, yo, you got young Pooh, you got young Trev, you got, you know, all these young PGs that's coming up in L.A., and they going to Artesia and Crenshaw and losing. You know what I mean? It's like, man, I they need to see me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And I need to stay connected because I, I need to revamp this whole – UCLA is point guard university. Mm -hmm. And so that's what it was. It was like, where do I want to live for the rest of my life? Where do I want to be comfortable? And at that point, it was like, all right, dude, I want to, you know, do I want to be the top five greatest point guard to ever play? Or do I want to walk in a room and niggas be like, damn, that nigga cold. I can't fuck with him. Do you think you can fuck with him? No, 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 no. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And so yeah. I'd rather put on for my city. And I was just thinking about like the next generation. And it's like, man, if if they can come <clears throat> watch me play how I've been coming here getting recruited, man, that's I'm giving tickets to all the little homies to come, you know, while we rock out at UCLA. Mm -hmm. So when when you look back on that decision, do you think it ultimately panned out the way that you wanted it to? <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, I don't regret it. You know, I always say, like, there's always a what if moment. Like, if I would have went to Duke, um, I don't know, if I would have went to Kansas, I'd have been a different type of player and shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if I would have went to Duke, what that would have done, you know what I mean? Because I just, I'd have been in and out. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I'd been in and out, all the East Coast love, all the flavor, you know what I mean? Yeah. All that shit in my game fit <clears throat> with all that that was cracking, and I would have just had to focus on basketball, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But who knew? Like, deep down in my heart, I always felt, you know, Ricky Price went there. He got hated on. Cherokee Parks wound up getting hated on. Yeah. Chris Burgess hated on. So I was like, man, I'm from L.A. And it's something about, like, the L.A. dude at Duke that, and where I'm from, like, they think I'm a nice dude. But when I snap, like, they going to send me home. Yeah. You know, and so I always felt like Coach K had, like, would hate on me. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And I was right about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I wasn't tripping. Why do you say you was right about that? Because uh, he hated on me. When? Ah. During the Olympic tryouts. Mm. I was coming off a of 23, 8, and didn't get a tryout. So. I feel that's that big bad. hate. You know what I mean? Bro, I can't get a, I can't get a tryout? Like. Name 30 people better than me. Okay, name 12. Name four guards better than me. Okay, cool. Now, can I practice against them? Now, ask them niggas that. All right, enough said. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't got to try out. But Coach K, I hate him. I ain't tripping. Do you think that stems from you not going to Duke and going to Absolutely. UCLA? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's not, he wrote about it in his book. Oh. Yeah, I always had, like, that was my whole, and they can blame it on, like, the USA team and shit like that. But every sorry, every motherfucker that was in front of me or that got invited was sorry. Guards. You know, you ask me, they sorry. Who were the guards? <laughs> Luke Rittenhauer got invited. He weak as fuck. No knock on him, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, you know, this is my hurt talking. I respect his game. I think Luke Rittenauer is a good player. But, mm -hmm. like, you know, we talking as Hoopers. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Mm -hmm. You're like, start there. Now I go to the top top guard and be like, damn, I, I don't get a shot? Mm -hmm. This is ill, homie. But I wasn't tripping, dude. I knew what it was. I was like, this result, this, <clears throat> you know, this is, this is coming back, you know, uh, to Roos from college. Mm -hmm. So Kyrie, Kyrie recently just said that. Kyrie yeah. recently was like, uh, the the team came out, they asked Kai about it, and Kai said, 
I'll be cheering them on. Yeah. But I just remember the days when we had to go you play had to against go each prove other. Yourself, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's not even that. It's like <clears throat> there's a hundred dudes in the league that deserve to all be in the gym together. If y'all really want to know who the cream of the crop. Yep. You can't just hand pick just on popular. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. If you have a child, you gotta have like once you have one child, you gotta have them try out every time. Mm -hmm. Because it's also showing like a level of chemistry, dedication, and who fit. You know what I mean? Who's a real glue dude? Got all these superstars, but who gon who gon who gonna be the glue? Yeah. Who gonna be the central intelligence? Who quarterbacking the defense? You know what I mean? Who making the ultimate sacrifice to make sure everybody sacrifice? You know what yeah. I mean? And so, you know, I'm rooting for them. I know they can do it because shit, we got superpowers, but absolutely. There's on a team, everybody is a superstar in their role. Yes. And in order to have a team, you gotta have those dudes who are super superstars in their role. And you gotta let them try out. Like, how the fuck Kyrie don't can't get a tryout? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fact. No, I get it. And speaking of Olympics, I, I was actually, Green don't get a tryout. You I feel think, what I'm saying? Know, I think I should have got it. I, I, you know the thing that really pissed me off about it? Um, I haven't said much about it, but the thing that upset me about it was a 41 name pool came out. And how you not? And I ain't on the pool. Like, <laughs> and I played in the last. <laughs> right, I right. Won the last right. two gold medals. Right. You got two gold medals. And. And with winning those two last two gold medals, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm at the absolute best. No, you I, was killing. But I but right now, today, I am. You, you at still the top got the record yeah. with me. Like, Bro, you at the top, you at the like, top and at the peak of who you are. Absolutely. Like I I like this means so much more. You know what I mean? 100%. Because it's like. I don't understand, bro. 100%. I don't understand. So I, like, I feel that. You know like what I mean? said, I'm, I'm cheer. And when, I'm when, when are them. you not qualified to like keep, usually people who win gold medals, they keep playing. For sure. So that's why you need to try out. Like some of these dudes got to go, they got to go take and say, hey, big dog, I got to retire. Yeah, yeah, you got to be over. like, you know what? You, it's time. Damn, dog. You got to you know, But you got to get, you got to give you that chance. You got to get that. Them that chance, you got to get a whole history of the legacy of, of the game and the storytelling that chance. I like, agree. Because, like, dudes ain't retiring. Ain't nobody retiring nobody. Ain't nobody getting retired. Mm -hmm. It's just like everybody walking away like, hey, like, yeah. hey, thanks for the service. You yeah. know what I mean? You know the beautiful thing about being a sports fan? There's only, like, two days the whole year without a game. Two. With so much happening and so much action, that makes just about every day game day at DraftKings Sportsbook. It's super easy for first-timers to get started. Try betting on something simple like picking a team to win. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, select your team, and place your first bet. It really couldn't be any easier or any simpler. Baseball, golf, UFC, there's something for every fan of every sport to bet on DraftKings. And I know it's early, but football season will be here before you know it. And the Kansas City Chiefs are currently the favorite to win the Super Bowl on DraftKings at plus 550. And if you're new to DraftKings, you got to check this out. New customers bet $5 and get 150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code HOOPS. That's H-O-O-P-S. That's code HOOPS for new customers to get 150 in bonus bets instantly when you bet just $5. Only on DraftKings, the crown is yours.